that one, little one. No messing around, there's weeds and stuff. All right, so that's like the second cast of the Whopper Plopper. <laughs> All right, one down. Ooh, very shallow here. All right, we're finding the little ones. Well, that was a surprise. I just started reeling in and the fish was there. I love fishing a wacky worm. All right, biggest fish of the day. Not very big though. Nope, I got hung up on my glove. Hey YouTube, uh, Mike here from Flip Flop Fishing. I'm out here in the garage uh, unloading after a banger of a day at Roosevelt Lake, which is the video you're watching now. Uh, before we go on, do yourselves a favor, go check out Fat Pack Baits. Uh, Fat Pack is a local company based right here in Arizona, and they are heavily involved in supporting our local fishing community including being a sponsor to many of our fishing related events and tournaments uh, here in the valley and beyond. Some of my favorites are the five inch fat bat stick bait in green pumpkin and black flake. Uh, this is perfect for wacky rigging. I also really like the six and a half inch slinky worm. Uh, this one's in tomato color. I've uh, been using this for drop shots a lot. And then last but not least, this is the Black and Blue Flake Beastie Bug Jr. Uh, this thing is money on a Texas rig. You can find their stuff at their website, which I'll link somewhere around here. I'll also link it at the end of this video and in the video description. All right, Arizona, thanks for watching. Back to the video, support your local AZ small businesses, uh, especially those that support us as anglers. Check out Fat Pack Baits. So uh, for my Wacky rig. This is just uh, a Nico rig hook, actually, uh, weedless, weightless. And I'm using the Fat Bat, the Green Pumpkin Black Flake from Fat Pack Baits today. Green Pumpkin Black Flake is my absolute favorite stick bait color. Simple, yet effective. There we go. And like I said, like on that last one, I just chucked it out there and I was just kind of let it sit. So it's not very deep here. So I'm just casting it out, letting it drop. Usually you can feel them pick it up. There's just a slight tap 
or it just feels different. That last one though must have picked it up and just kind of held it in its mouth and that might make sense because it was pretty it was hooked pretty far down in the throat and so it uh, probably had some time to swallow it. And um, my favorite rod for fishing the wacky worm is a BFS combo. This is my brand new Cast King Kestrel BFS reel. And this rod is from Old 18. Uh, it's actually no longer made, but they have a whole new lineup of BFS rods now. I have two of their rods, and uh, I like them. They're pretty good. No complaints. Um, the biggest thing is they're seven foot rods, one piece, which is kind of hard to find without breaking the bank. So, And because I knew I'd be fishing around a lot of submerged crud, I've got um, 20 pound braid on and that is a 12 pound test leader. I didn't come out here to fish the wacky rig today, but I just decided to throw it around today. I think uh, everything I tied on today is pretty much top water. The wacky rig was just meant to be a follow up bait. There are fish jumping everywhere through here. All right, I want to go back to top water because that's what I'm here for. We can save the wacky rig. Actually, I'm not going to hook it. I'm just going to reel it up to the tip. I bet a jig would do good out here too. That's a big one. Oh. Oh, stop jumping. He's barely hooked. This is the first bass in a while. I've had a few little hits uh, and a couple of big hits. But yeah, this is the first one in the boat in a while. All right. I have a skinny little bass. Good bite though. Yep. Oh man. Oh no, get out of the bush. Come on. Come on. Yeah. 
There's a nice one on a wacky rig. All right, the hook came right out. Nice. So I've been throwing around the top water and I'm getting bites on it. In fact, I've gotten several bites on it, but they're just not taking it. So I decided to throw around the wacky rig for a while and I haven't been throwing around very long and I got that familiar tap when it was on its way to the bottom. And then I did what I do. So I love fishing a wacky rig. It's one of my favorite baits to throw. And um, the way I do it almost every single time is I will toss it out there and just let it sink. And if I don't get anything on the drop, I just reel it in. I don't even pop it. I fish, I fish it pretty fast. And I notice, in my experience anyways, the minute this thing hits the water, the bass is on it. There's no waiting for it to fall to the bottom. Yes, they do pick it up off the bottom occasionally, but most of the time it gets hit within seconds. So this is the first one on the um, Texas rig, the Beastie Bug Junior. I haven't been thrown around that long and I've gotten, uh, this was just the second bite in just the last couple minutes. This is a good sized fish. Nice. Okay, so once again, it's been a minute since we've caught a fish. And this is a very decent one. Nose is busted up a little bit, bud. But yeah, there's what we got going on. The green cup, ah, <laughs> can't even talk. The Green Pumpkin Blue Flake Beastie Bug Junior. This is from Fat Pack Baits. That's a perfect size little craw. Your mouth is a little bit beat up. Nice bite, man. Hammered that thing. That's all we got going on. I wish I had a little bit smaller weight, and I may have one somewhere. But I just grabbed the, what looked like the smallest, but I think it's a 3 8 And I'd rather be using a quarter ounce. Because I'm not fishing very deep. There's no wind or anything. I usually use the 3 8 for the river when there's current. That was a live scope fish, for sure. There's a bunch of them down there.
<laughs> I think that fell on top of his head. Oh my gosh, that is a small bass. Jeez, look at that thing. <laughs> Finally got one on the jig. Jig bites are so much fun, man. I'm telling you. Every single time, it just gets hammered. There's a the second one on the jig. That was a good bite. All right, let's get it in. All right, nice. Looks like a Bartlett bass. Where are all the big fish? Come on. Well, so far, so good. The fishing has been steady. The fish have been average at best. Uh, I haven't caught anything over two pounds, I don't think. I don't even think I've caught anything at two pounds. I've all been in that one pound, one and a half range. I've been out here a long time and it's hard to leave because the weather is so perfect. But I've caught them a little bit on everything. Um, I started off throwing top water. I threw some different things around. I ended up catching most of them on a, my Whopper Plopper 60, of course. Um, they weren't biting anything else. Swiped at my buzz bait once. But that was about it. I've caught them on um, a wacky rig, Senko. I've caught them on a Texas rig, Crawdad. And now I've caught it on a jig. What else have I caught fish on today?
Did it bite the legs off? Oh my gosh, the legs have already been bitten off. And I got the fish that bit my legs off. Oh my gosh, this is a good one. I gotta get it out of there. Oh my gosh, this is a big fish. I think I may have lost. Oh no, I still see it. Yeah, he's still pulling. Oh, that was a weird one. He's the line is still underneath a branch or something. Oh, that was crazy. I can't believe this fish stayed on this long. He's hooked really good though. Man. Nice. There's the biggest fish of the day. Easy. Look at a big old tail on that thing. All right, we got 17 and a half inches. Nice. Biggest fish of the day. Two point seven pounds. So now I have to deal with getting my jig unstuck. That was crazy. I've never had a fish get tangled. And then I was somehow still able to net it while it was still tangled. Look, there it is. I'm using uh, crawdads from Fat Pack Baits as my trailer on my jig. These are the bottom lickers. Green pumpkin and blue flake. And I'm using a finesse jig. So it's a little bit long, so I'm snipping off the first two sections. Then I'm sticking it on my jig. All right, slippery little thing. Perfect. And that's just a 3 8 ounce finesse jig. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, I didn't think that one was hooked very good. Oh, man, that thing hit like a truck. There's no doubt that was a hit.
there's one. Nice. Wow, look how green that fish is. Boy, these little fish hit hard. So much fun. The thing is about jigs is I didn't really fish them a lot until the, just this year. I didn't feel very confident in them. I'd, I've caught a couple fish on them and some good fish too. But I just lost enough that I thought that my hookup ratio sucked and I just didn't have any confidence in it. But I've been fishing it a lot this year and it's like one of my new confidence baits now. It's so much fun to fish too. Nearly every single bite on this thing is just a hammer. There's no in between. There's no going to pick it up and s gently swim away with it. It's like bam every time. Yeah. That confused me because the fish jumped behind me like almost the instant this one hit. Well, you got some battle scars, buddy. No, well, you're not too bad. Chill. Bugger. That was a good sized fish. Our hook is still very sharp. Oh man, that sucks. That fish was big. Nice, another good size one. This time on the wacky rig. <laughs> nice, that's a good fish. Yeah, you're long. Sixteen inches, one pound, thirteen ounces. <clears throat> one pound, thirteen ounces. That's the last fish of the day. That's a good one. So YouTube, it was a pretty good day. We caught a bunch of fish. We caught, a, caught them on a little bit of everything. Top water, jig, worms. Yeah. Drop shot. Um, nothing huge. We caught a 
two and a half pounder was the biggest. A couple of one plus, a few dinks here and there. Some good top water this morning. Ah, I got another one right there. Look at that. Oh, he popped off. Just came to say ha. Trying to do my outro and the fish are interrupting. The weather has been absolutely perfect today. It was kind of cool this morning, but not bad at all. And then uh, a little bit overcast. It's just been a perfect day all around. Fishing's been decent. It hasn't been like on fire, at least not for me. I launched from Grapevine today. Uh, I think this is only the second time I've launched from here. And I went down river to the right. And just kind of snuck around the coves here. Nice. Wacky rigs coming through. I don't think I mentioned it, but these red Senkos are also my favorite color. Can be hard to find sometimes, but I love these. They work good. I've caught a lot of fish on that color. Uh, I put it on a quarter ounce wacky rig hook. I ran out of the fat pack bait Sankos because they work too good. So I fish a Sanko really fast. I put it out on my target. I let it fall all the way to the bottom. Oh, that was a fish and I missed it because I was talking. <laughs> Um, I cast it out to my target, let it sink all the way to the bottom. Most of the time it gets hit on the way down. So I keep a semi slack line and I kind of do a quarter reel to bring in the slack if I'm moving like I am now. And then I just do it again. And mostly when I cast, I cast, you know, where I want to, and then I worry about how I'm going to get it out later. There's some juicy spots that look hard to fish, but you're in a kayak, so you can go to it. So I don't hesitate to cast into a position where it looks like I can't get out of. Wow, barely hooked. Just 
It's almost 4.30. This is my longest day fishing ever. I launched at around 6 o'clock. 10 and a half hours. My batteries are holding up good still. Got plenty of battery. Fishing has been steady. That's the reason I've stayed that and it's just such a great day today. The weather was perfect. There's been very little wind. It's dead calm right now. The fishing has been good. It's been really fun. They've been biting on pretty much everything. So I've been going through this area. I've gone through this area like three times, every time with a different bait, and every time I catch fish. Oh my gosh, is that a fish? I think it is, and it already got me stuck. Yeah, it is a fish, and it does indeed have me stuck. I did it again. I've got a fish where my line is wrapped around a branch underwater. And this is a giant fish. Well, not a giant, but a good one. This one wrapped me around immediately. Two point four pounds. All right. 16, 16 and a half inches. Nice. That is probably a good fish to end the night on.